new research on de-escalating or reducing the frequency of GLP-1s for patients. So this research is from Mitch Berryman. It is wonderful. He is a primary care doctor and a metabolic specialist. So very cool that he does both. Fun fact, most GLP-1s are prescribed by primary care doctors. But his talk is the half frequency of GLP-1 de-escalation maintaining weight and metabolic syndrome improvements. So de-escalation just means taking it every two weeks, basically. And these are his patients in his research style. He, he knows all of them, he sees all of them. There's 30 of them total. And he also brought up that most patients come to him wanting to reduce the frequency, whether that be because of cost or symptoms or side effects or whatever patients come to him. He's not necessarily going to patients for this. But he does have criteria for this because he wants to be methodical about how he's treating patients. They have to meet two of three criteria he's defined. They have to be at their goal weight, they have to have a reduction in comorbidities, or they have to have a preference for it, like a want, like we talked about, like costs or anything like that. He also said oftentimes when patients hit a plateau, he recommends de-escalating as well. And you can kind of see this chart in the back. This middle point right here is a plateau. That's a marker where they slow down. Obviously kind of falls out here. But with patients who de-escalate after plateauing for an indefinite amount of time, lost another one or 2% and a de-escalation process. And he talked about the half-life of GLP-1s is roughly five days, but at two weeks, that means there's about 12%, 12 and a half percent of the GLP-1 still in the body. So it is similar to microdosing. I think another key point to point out in his research is that his patient's average dose of trisepatide was seven and a half. And for semaglutide, it was 2.4. So these were not patients who were all the way up to the max dose and plateauing and whatever. These are real world patients who get slowdowns, plateaus, whatever. And he really called out that this is personalized medicine. We need to tailor made it to what our patients' bodies are telling us and also like what they're telling us about their lifestyle. And again, that was from Dr. Mitch. Loved it very much. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. As always, this is just educational content and I'm reporting on what's going on at the Obesity Week Conference in Atlanta, Georgia.